Okay, so in the second lecture, I would like to talk about something uh, the definition related to enzyme. So, if we look at the enzyme, then we need to know some definition. So, first of all, the active site. So, what is the active site? Active site is the site where the su substrate can bind on the enzyme. Now, what is substrate? substrate is the like uh, it is actually the if if we consider something will bind here then it should be it should be like that okay so this compound will call the substrate that means which actually the reactant of the enzyme catalysis reaction and this substrate get attached to the enzyme on its active site and you see the active site it has definite size and shape and this size and shape confirms that this uh, substrate bind onto this active site and it is highly specific it is highly specific so that means if this enzyme has the ability to actually work on this substrate it will not allow any other size of substrate or like this or like this to bind onto it as a result the active site is really important thing and binding on the active site basically initiate the react enzyme catalysis reaction and after binding on the active site the substrate got the energy to convert it to product okay so that now the substrate is the substance which actually bind onto the enzyme at its active site now what is active site active site is a site which is really work as a mediator or the binder or the place where the enzyme catalysis reaction carry on now this is towards substrate and the active site of the enzyme and if you look at that enzyme they are actually basically the biocatalyst and they bind on they help the reactant or the substrate to bind onto them to initiate the reaction now the branch of the chemistry which deals with the rate of the reaction or how fast the reaction going on the how uh, what is the rate uh, what is the rate of conversion of the reactant to the product is known as chemical kinetics now the part of the biochemistry which deals with the rate of conversion of the product from reactant through using the active sites of the enzyme is known as enzyme kinetics and we also uh, later we will discuss about one of the reaction which is very famous reaction in enzyme kinetics and uh, so uh, I think you are clear now on from about the definitions now if we look at this if we look at this uh, if you look at this uh, figure you can find out that this is the active sites now the substrate comes to the active site and then this substrate get bind onto the active site which actually lowering the potential energy you can remember the potential energy which lowering the potential energy like this like this way due to binding it form a new way of potential energy diagram and upon binding they lose some energy and then after binding the reaction is actually proceeded and after formation of the product the uh, 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 enzyme again release the product so after re releasing, releasing the product you could find out that one is our product another one is byproduct so this is the basic principle of enzyme catalysis or enzyme kinetics and by this way they actually follow the lock and key model if we look at this figure this is also explained the lock and key model and uh, which implies that you must have to have certain shape of the pocket onto the enzyme which actually help you to like which actually help you to bind to the substrate and due to binding of the substrate it will help you to like if you look at here if you look at here this is the definite shape of substrate can bind into it and you upon binding they are can split it into two different group which is the reaction is complete then it release the product and then the enzyme become as it is 
So as a result, this model is known as lock and key model for the enzyme catalysis. And also we can uh, find, uh, see another model given there. It is also the same, the product, this is the product, this is the active site and you can see there is a certain relationship between the active site and the product. And as a result, enzyme catalysis reactions are highly specific. And this is also a very beneficial phase for our life, for human being and for everything. Why? Because if it is, you consider, if it is, will be uh, again uh, active on any other substrate, then what will happen? Then there will be competition between them, that whether it will come or another one will come, then the reaction rate will be decreases. So as a, this is a very good uh, criteria or the characteristics of the enzyme that they are highly specific and they can uh, basically initiate a specific type of chemical reaction. And uh, this is also the same way you can see the product, the actually the this is the catalyst and the reactant A and reactant B bind onto them. This is the uh, this is actually a formation reaction. Previous one was a breakdown reaction. Previous one, this one and this one, both of them is a breakdown reaction, and this is a formation reaction. So during this formation reaction, two different type of reactant come here, and then they bind together. Then catalyst initiate the reaction here, and then they form the product, and then release the product. So this is basically followed by any chemical reaction occurred through enzyme catalysis and this biochemical reaction uh, is enhanced by the enzymes and we obtain our desired product within very short time and it depends on how fast actually you need this one in your body or in your cell now the nomenclature of enzyme basically the nomenclature starts with ASE like if someone active on urea then we said its name is urease. If someone active on lactose, we said it is name is lactase enzyme. If someone active on cellulose, we said it is cellulase enzyme. Again, another format of nomenclature we follow, which shows that it depends on the basically on the type of reaction they are catalyzed. Like if someone do the oxidation, we said oxidase. If someone do the reduction, we said reductase. If someone do the hydrolysis, we said, said hydrolase. If someone remove hydrogen, then we say dehydrogenase. So this type of name of the enzyme basically come from their, uh, their what is their role in your body or in your cell. Now some of them has no relationship with their name. Like you can see the catalase, pepsin, chymotrypsin, trypsin. As I said you in my lecture uh, then this is actually basically based on the who nomenclature that or how it is produced or some sometimes it is uh, it has some name based on the area or something like that but their work is actually specific but not related to their name as i said the trypsin is used for uh, separate the bond between two different amino acids so this type of thing okay so i think you can remember my lecture and uh, then we can find out there are six different types of enzymes we have and it is oxyreductase one is transferase hydrolase ly lysis isomerase and ligase just remember the name oxyreductase oxido reductase now what is oxido reductase that means it must have some relationship it must have some relationship with the oxidation and reduction now if we say transferase transferase that means it must have some relationship with transferring some functional group hydrolase so hydrolase that means it will help someone to be hydrolyzed so if you find out this type of enzyme you will find out that they are actually hydro help someone to hydro form the hydrolysis reaction that means the breakdown like if you can remember the breakdown hydrolysis of uh, any type of star so it converted to again fatty acid and alcohol and also the lysis lysis means breaking down so that cleave up the bond without adding any water so when the cleavage of the bond with water then it is hydrolase and when the cleavage of the bond without adding any water then it is lysis so and isomerase easy so isomerization that means it will actually form different form of compound but there will be no change of any of the 
chemical com combination or chemical uh, constituent of the compound just their bonding will be changed and ligase ligase basically used for dna ligation or something like that and it just ligase means opposite of the lysase that means lysase breaking down and ligase joining up two molecule to form a new molecule okay so i think you can get the point and this is also explain the same type of our uh, experiment detail and you have this uh, i think you have this uh, slide and you can you can uh, basically see the slide and hear my previous lecture and as well as this lecture and it will be very much helpful for you to complete and uh, next we will go for this uh, equation thank you very much